Hi everyone, welcome back to this week's The Day in the Life of Vlad and part three to my La Ross series. So, um, as we showed last week, we worked on these two pieces, which are nameless at the moment. I'm gonna give you a little close preview on this piece that we worked on last week. And this piece. Ooh. <laughs> so, um, we're going to continue working on these. Um, I think last time we started on this one, so we're going to start on this one. And so we're going to start adding some of that other details that I was talking about. Um, and with this one, I'm feeling adding a little bit more gold and a couple of more like disturbing colors. So let's go ahead and get back started. So before I begin, I'm gonna play around with some things that I may or may not add to this piece. But as you remember in the beginning, if you haven't seen it, there's a video of how I started it. I used these two mediums. This is the crackle paste and the molding paste. I use specifically Golden's brand, but Liquitex makes one. I think Epson and Art may make some. There's like a variety of um, different mediums and companies you can use them. The other thing I like to use, I tend to put it a lot in my work, is these sort of metal leaf paper. And they're kind of like this kind of gold leaf paper. I do one in copper and one in gold. And I like to layer on them to give them a bit more texture. So we're gonna add a couple of these into one of the works of art, as well as another technique sometimes I like to do is we're gonna take some tape and I'm gonna use it to block off some areas that I may wanna keep. Um, if there's something I really like in a painting that I wanna keep, I will tend to cover it up with tape and then uh, use that to sort of preserve it as I continue going over the rest of the work. So that's what we're gonna get started on right now. So let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit over this before I do more of a time-lapse video. Um, just to give a bit more showing what I'm doing. So you saw me play around with some lines around here. I used a permanent marker, but you can use anything. Um, and I'm kind of liking what's going around sort of from here. And I don't know if I can bring you closer to what I'm looking at, but oh, nope, it just zoomed out, sorry. Um, I'm kind of liking what's going on with this sort of teal blue happening and a little bit what's here. So I am going to mark some of that off with the use of this painter's tape. And I use specifically painter's tape. I know some people can use scotch tape, but I don't know, I prefer painter's tape because it, it kind of um, helps easier to remove off of the canvas without like removing the actual paint. So I'm gonna close off a little bit of what's happening here in terms of, I saved that piece. Um, Covering this pure blue. I also like what's happening with some of the gold down here, but I'm actually going to leave that alone. Um, and then I'm going to take some of this paper. And I think with this piece, I might mess around more with the copper first. So let's take this copper piece first. I'm gonna show you a little bit in a second of what this paper looks like. It's actually kind of cool. So usually when you purchase it, it kind of looks like this booklet here. And then through a sheet, you have this sort of loose kind of paper. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that one. And then not sure if we're going to use gold in there or not. But the next thing that I do is I take a medium, sort of any sort of varnish or something like that, just any sort of medium, and I take a brush. I'm going to use this one here. And what I usually would do, I'm going to turn this upside down since some of this 
medium comes down. Whoop, right here. So this medium come coming down. But as that's doing that, what I tend to do, come down, is apply the medium where I want this paper to be. So I'm gonna play around with spacing for where I want some of this to, to spread all over. I'm gonna put on my gloves. And I tend to put on gloves, I don't know, like most artists, it's just you, sometimes you wanna use your hands and then sometimes you don't want to use your hands. It's just basic of just not wanting to get my hands dirty. So I'm going to start applying some of the medium and then get to applying and crumbling up this stuff and see. So we'll see you next. So for this piece, um, I don't mind what the black is doing per se. I, I think it's fine that it's a little bit on the darker end, but I'm actually going to line it up a little bit, um, kind of using just the, the sort of rubbing of, uh, you can use do it with this with the paper towel. I'm doing it with like old sort of drip cloths. And I'm gonna do a little bit of rubbing effect, especially over the areas where you can see some of the um, details of the molding paste. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit more like lighter color in it. I may do enough beige or black, not black, sorry. Um, yellow cream, like there are a couple of pieces I kind of wanna play around with. I could do this sort of Naples yellow or this rose chair color, which is a nice sort of beige and it's not too off. Um, not necessarily stark white, but I do want to lighten it a little bit, slightly. Um, and then I might do a couple of more colors on here and uh, add the gold leaf on top of this one, um, all before I start phasing it over. So we're going to start with that first, and then I'm going to wrap it up with the final glazing. So we're going to start. I think these two pieces are pretty much pretty much done now. Um, there's a little bit of detail and disturbance on this lovely piece. No names. Names will come later. They seem to always do. And we've added a bit more detail and a different color on this one. So now what I'm going to do is do the final steps. Aside from signature, but that's... I mean, no, I don't need to do that on camera. <laughs> um, is putting the final gloss medium that I normally put on top of that. I like to use a gloss medium. Some people use matte. Um, I use this acrylic gloss medium. This is specifically from a local company here in San Francisco. Um, but I usually glaze it over. And what's really fun is that this comes out white. Um, and so it's kind of, you get freaked out because you think it's not it's gonna ruin your piece, but it doesn't, it, it dries clear. So we're gonna add this next after I do a little shake up. And then these pieces will officially be done. Um, and like I said on my other video, if you want one of these pieces, you can actually get one by being one of my patrons um, for my Patreon. This is specifically for the $50 tier folks. Um, at $50 every quarter you get a art panel painting so 
have an opportunity to join, the link will be right here, as you can see it, and also in the description box. But yeah, please share, comment, and um, yeah, thanks for checking out the page, and you know, come back next week. And also, if you want to know the next time I have um, a uh, video coming up, you can also click on the bell and you can be notified. All right, let's get into finishing these pieces.